So I know of a lot of these single player chess puzzle adventure games where control single chess pieces, basically. There's been a lot of takes on this genre, and not all of them are deep or challenging enough for a real game. I've even played Soko Chess and Soko Chess White on this channel, which are both games where you push other pieces around. And there's also Chess Former, which I might do a full video on later. Because I actually haven't played this full version. Anyway, I like to show one of my favorite variants. It's called Chess Court Quest, and the mechanic here is to swap and swap control with your own pieces. Let's get to the gameplay now. So, let's get into it. So we have this pawn, I'm currently controlling the pawn. I can, like, I can go into the spikes, that would obviously be a bad idea. So instead we attack, in quotes, attack the king to swap places with it and control it. So now I can go into the corner. Okay, the pawn can move two spaces, but only on its first turn. Now swap and let's go. Okay, some levels are, what, too difficult to complete on your own? Oh, come on, I'm not going to get a hint. I refuse. <laughs> anyway. Switch with the rook. I'm controlling the rook now, and I want the rook to go and swap control the king. Then we can get on there. Okay, now... We, we can switch with the king now. That feels a little bad. I can change... Okay, now I'm the rook. So I can go onto the flag, then switch to the king. There we go. Oh no. World 2, new pieces and obstacles. The knight, that can move in an L shape and jump over anything. Use the knight to help the king reach the flag, of course. Swap with that, and there we go. Alright, we can switch. Okay, now I can swap with the king, but then I have nothing to do here. Luckily, we can undo. Do I, think, do I want to switch with the knight? Because I don't think I can rescue the king right now, so maybe I do switch with the knight. Hmm, that'll let me rescue here. Then I can get to the king. There we go. Okay, so we have a bishop, but the bishop's on the wrong color square. I can never get to the king. So I need to s first control the rook. Switch the bishop's color, and then switch the king. There we go. Oh, pawn promotion is going to happen. Get a pawn to any space directly below an empty square. Oh, I love that detail with the ellipses. Okay, and it promotes the queen. Very nice. The queen still can't hop over gaps, though. Well, it doesn't matter. We can get the king over here. Okay. The only thing to do is switch the rook and the the uh, pawn promoted to a queen. I can switch with the king to access the queen, right? There you go. And switch. Very nice. We're in world three now. So a wall will prevent a pawn from reaching the end of the board. Walls. Okay. Well, I can switch to the bishop right now. So I'm, I'm guessing that means like here, of course, it won't promote. So is there a way for me to switch the pawn... Like, like to switch to the bishop's color using just the pawn. Um, hmm. Oh, look at that. That could get the rook and promote to a queen while we're at it. So we can switch there, go to queen, and queen is super powerful. It can go here and switch to the king. There we go. We have correct tiles now. I can switch with the king, but we can't go on the spikes. That wouldn't be a good idea. We can switch to bishop. Does that allow me to do it? I can go here and go to a rook. Uh, and I can hop all the way over and switch with the king. Very nice. Okay, next. More crack tiles. Thank you for not giving me a, a long tutorial about that, by the way. So, crack tiles, also hopping over crack tiles with the rook will also break them. So I'm not sure that's how I want to approach it right now. Hmm. I don't understand how we can get past all of this. Maybe we don't touch that. I know th that crack tile must be there for the bishop, yeah? So the rook goes over. Uh, we, we switch with the bishop on the same color, I think. Hopefully that works. We failed to really switch it with the same color there. Hmm. What about that? No, the rook is still in the way. Oh, I can see. Okay, you can go through on this diagonal to switch with the king. That's not the place to switch with the king. This is the place to switch with the king. There we go. Okay. Hmm. What are those crack tiles? What are those? They're not the same color as before. I oh, I see. The pawns can take these crack tiles. That's the mechanic. Um, so it counts as something that we can capture. But there's still ground underneath the crack tile. We also can't move into that crack tile. So I need to use this capture. Switch to the rook and... Okay. 
I guess this is, must be something about moving the pawn intentionally, but we'll get it stuck if we do that. So do I break that? I think I do, and then it turns into a queen. Okay, very nice. And I just go through there. There we go. Hmm. Well, I only have one move, so better take it. Yeah, I only have one move on each of these turns. Okay. Now, I want to be the rook, right? That's the only th new thing I can do. Switch with the king. Thought I wanted this to promote, but this is clearly not happening right now. Maybe we need the bishop to go back and, like, maybe screw around with the top? Hmm. I've also screwed myself here. Hmm. Well, I, I noticed there's this path where you can get the king up here. Okay, no, no, not up here. That's useless. But over here with the bishop, maybe. I, why did I pick the move that sucked? No, here. Right? Then... See, I'm, I'm really trying to make that pawn useful here. I can do this. But I surely can't swap back with the bishop now. What, what I'm trying to do here is make that pawn promote, but maybe that's not working here. Okay, wait, I just undid a bunch, and I think I'm just stupid. Like, I could do this and keep the rook on this side while changing this to a bishop. Okay, wait. <laughs> uh, that's still just as much in the way as before. Ugh, hmm. Ugh, hmm. I was trying to switch that, but clearly it's not good to do that. And I've been looking at this for a while, and it's I felt it's weird this is still active. But what if I swap here? And it becomes a queen? Oh my gosh. What a subtle piece of level. Alright. Okay, what? No, what the? Those swap spike versus non-spike every turn, I take it? Alright. So now I'm playing with this. Ow. So I need to do the classic parity swap to do that. Okay. I'm playing as the knight. I can it only moves the switch there. Why does it feel why I mean, this color scheme is weird to get used to? I can, un, I can crack that tile, but that's not good. Nope. Hmm. That's not good to crack either. Hmm. I was hoping that we could like get to the knight. But there's no move for the knight afterwards, seemingly. Yeah, I have no moves left. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Let me think more. Uh. Hmm. Swapping with that destroys the piece that would have been under my control, which is a bad idea. Oh! <laughs> oh, wow. That... Yeah, okay. I guess that makes sense. Because pawns care if the empty space above them is a hole. If you get rid of it, then it becomes the queen. Alright, well, we need a way to get back, so... Well, we can do that, switch to queen, and there we go. Amazing. Where the hell is the flag? Oh, no. Here. Oh, never mind. We can just get it through the diagonal. Nice. Okay. Locks and keys? Very okay. Totally haven't seen that one before. <laughs> So, is it work on adjacency? That that would be new. Oh, we want to promote this pawn, right? Nice. Okay, switch. And what it cares about is, like, orthogonal adjacency. So, let's do this and get down. Okay, now... Okay, we promoted that to queen. We can even do that, but... Now, is there any way for me to actually get past this? Like queen's getting stuck, which is not a good idea. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Alright, let's let's reset. Maybe there was a different way to approach the start of the level. It didn't seem like it though. Because Well, we wanted at least for it to promote. That could have been done by destroying the these two as well. Maybe I didn't need to get rid of the anything. Maybe do this break. Why'd I do this here? Like that. Okay, isn't that better? I can just walk past? Okay, there we go. No swap required. Triple trouble. Okay, so watch out that there's a promotion, like, attempt over there. I don't know if I can mess with the, like, the other pieces well enough. 
See, what I'm trying to do is have a piece here so that the pawn can potentially switch with it and then go up. I think I'm not fa I'm not succeeding at that, though. The pawn is way too suspicious just to be sitting there. Hmm. Part of the, like, a, a, like, in consequence of this rule set, like, if you noticed, is, like, when I'm switching pieces, there, it's forced that there's a piece here. Like, no matter what I do, if I want to interact with these pieces over and over, I'm blocking a piece of this position. Hmm. However, that is, okay, that key, I could have moved that. Nope, no stop. Um, really, really wants to get this to work, because the key doesn't switch. <laughs> I'm really failing at gaining control to the pawn or MRI. There we go, finally. Okay, so I did that because I wanted to. It felt like the right thing to do. Hey, can I can't Okay, I, I need to know something. I don't even know how I'm gonna approach this, but it seems like maybe the key unlocks two locks. Well, why am I dealing with this again? I have a freaking queen. There we go. <laughs> okay. More overcomplications from me, but there we go. What? It's called Welcome to Die. Who, who does that? Okay, well, now we have Belted Shift, which is also with alternators as well. Oh my gosh. You want to promote, right? The king's right here. Ow. So just, it's, it's like launch from modded medley. <laughs> I'm going to waste the turn like that. There we go. Okay. What? When did I need to click and drag to look around? When is this gonna be an open world game? This is gonna be like infinite chess where there's like a far away island that you can go to. <laughs> okay. Okay, there's no spike that's alternating, so why? Hmm. So, so what am I doing here? How do I get a key next to this? I guess we have this. Wait. What? <laughs> what is that mechanic, huh? You can just walk on top of the freaking gate thanks to the belt? Alright. Screw needing to unlock things, right? I mean, I guess the pawn is a problem with promotion if I did that, so maybe I should reset. Hmm. So how do we get this key in here? If, if like, if everything is about swapping, and if I click that, and it t sends me elsewhere, then how is it ever going to swap with the key? Well, do we, let's not destroy the key. How about not, not that? Oh, wait, this... No, hold on. That hole is not... This is going to be the same trick from before. Maybe I need the key to, like, help. But we're going to turn into a queen using the extra hole that we just made. So now for the location of the key. Can I do this? Yes, it does. Very nice. <laughs> that was a smooth ending. We also learned from that that the lock will get opened if the key is on the same square instead of it also just only adjacent. Anyway, there's more conveyors here. Hmm. So is there a way for me to promote this? Like, no, it doesn't give me like a move where that becomes promoted just because it was on a belt from for a turn. Okay, but, but this space on the right looks very suspicious. Hmm. Need to deal with the swapping problem. Okay, there we go. There, there's our queen. And now, I love how we're just like so often ignoring the conveyor belts and all of the like implications and everything involved with that. So, if the key was right there, then we could swap with it and win. All right. Okay. King, you can probably just go there normally. There we go. Okay, well, the title is New Peace Abilities. What the? We got Checkers Peace in here! <laughs> so, already it seems like it cannot move backwards. Although it can if it's capturing, which is an interesting twist. And it also switches the character control. Okay. I don't know if it was good to get rid of all of those, like what I just did. Um, what the? What the? Wait! Whoa! 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 I what? Wait! What just happened? <laughs> I just promoted the checker into a king. 
I don't think I was supposed to do that so early. Even though I already had another regular king on the board, alright. Okay, well, looks like that this is the idea of the level this time. Um, or not? Oh, because, okay, that does not promote to a king because there's no hole above that. It's weird because this level also seems like the pawn could promote... I don't know, maybe... I don't know what this, the goal of this level is yet. And, and like, the pawn also seems suspiciously ready to promote itself, maybe? Okay. But this checker piece, by the way, I, I see it can do this. I'm gonna control the pawn now. Okay, look at that, queen. And, okay, let's not hop into the spikes. What do we do with this queen? Hmm. I kind of feel like this... All, it, all I really want to do is get it out of the way, is what I want. Or maybe I'm just thinking about this the wrong way. We could do this. Okay, it's a king now. Great. Now we can use this somewhere. Wait, no, the king can already go down here. Alright, very nice. Adhesive. What is that? That's glue. So, I'm just able to switch between these characters normally. But only if it's on, like, the glue. Okay. What kind of mechanic is this? Well, maybe we should switch it around so the rook is the one on the glue. Okay, that, there we go, that did it. Okay. Playing as the king, and rescue the knight, and glue it. Okay, well that glue wasn't really particularly helpful. And can I even access the bishop from here? Okay, this <laughs> does not feel like it. This is a weird scenario. You can bring the king here, switch to knight, but then what do you do? Uh, or you could decide to switch to bishop, get to the knight, and then you still can't get to the king, I think? Hmm. So the glue probably comes into it some point, but I don't know how, and the bishop is stuck. No, it isn't. It's Well, it's not stuck if you do that. But then you do this switch, which is still very useless, it seems to me. It's funny, you can actually go back down and try to get to the bishop, but it doesn't do anything. We're really stuck in every point, huh? Hold on. This scenario with the glue. I can do this. Switch. Okay, now how do we want to switch with that? Is that good? Because that will let me get onto the glue with it again. Huh. Okay, can I access this? If I can, then it's a win. I don't know if I can. Hmm. What about this one? Oh, got it! Oh, right, all right, there we go. Now we have chain extraction. So, so the king is on glue there, so I can't get it out right now. Hmm. So what's the idea? You can switch to bishop, and then... I guess if both are on glue, that makes sense as well? That it allows you to switch like this? Hmm. Still, I don't want- I, I want to get out of there and then switch, right? Um, no, we really want to swap. I'm pretty sure we really want to swap here. And then I can switch to Bishop. Hmm. Feels really close, but the king still needs to move. Like, it actually does need to move. Push the king move there. Okay, now does the- does the queen of access to the very left space? Ah, shoot! It's glue! Hmm. I think I messed up and the king should have stayed in there. If I- if, if it allowed, the king should have stayed. Hmm. Switch to that. I really want the king to stay in that spot. Okay, got the king there and we should be good, good to go. There we go. Oh, now we got rook. Lots of glue. The bottom of the screen is a bunch of spikes. So we do that for a swap, but then the king is stuck, and that's a bad idea. I switch to bishop. Hmm. I wonder what the glue is here for. I can do that. The bishop being stuck here sucks. Why? Why did I do that? Hmm. Okay. So clearly, the king wants to be moving to the right overall, like into here. Wait, does that just do it? Wow, we didn't even need the bishop. Wait, 
Okay, no, no, we need a swap that involves, like... Hmm. That king shouldn't be there. It should be one above, but I don't know if I can do that easily. Nope. Hmm. Maybe it goes here. I didn't want that swap. Hmm. What if I go here, switch the bishop? Nope. Hmm. I should be able to do it. Here. Then switch the rook. Okay, got it, got it. There we go. Okay, this should be the last level of this world. We are a pawn and can immediately promote to a queen. Sure, I guess. Did I cheese the level? No, there's, um, actually there's still something in there. Hold on. The king needs to, uh, probably take advantage of the glue or something. Hmm. There's a bishop on the other side. So, of course, like, just because of the way the game works, you want something on the glue. I don't know how we can get there. And <laughs> this is, this bishop seems very weird. Why is it there? Sorry about the board being moved to the right uh, in some of the earlier footage, by the way. Just messed up the window capturing. Anyway, anyway, from the start of the level, I can switch to queen, then stand on the glue. Let's re reposition the rook at least, but... Hmm. Just isn't that close. I guess we can, from here, we could go here and switch here. And I want it to be next to the glue because I thought that would let me get to the swap easier. Like, get, get the king next to the rook. Screw needing the bishop. <laughs> okay. Defiance. All right, what's this mechanic? This is glue, right? And But we have a checker piece. Hmm. So the checker needs to be switched into a king. So, how do I do that? Well, if I do this, then nothing happens. So we need to switch it from the back. But there are a bunch of blockers in the way. I don't understand why there's like a need for a queen as well. So, hmm. Can I switch with this? Well, okay. We want to, we would want to switch it onto the glue. That gets the pawn onto the correct column. Whoops, hold on. That lets it promote to a queen. So I wanted to have that sort of interaction, but with the checker piece being available, that isn't selectable yet, and I, that needs to promote to a king. Hmm. Don't 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 do that swap. Do not. Still. Hmm. I. Hmm. Hold on. Am I just dumb? Like if if I do this, switch to the queen. Oh. Well, there you go. Okay. Okay. Now wait. What the? Oh, I'm playing as the checker, so I can switch to this. I can swap with the- well, that, that is nothing at all. Okay, well, it's completely forced to do those moves. Then probably switch with the- well, the king is lost there. Hmm. Okay, that, that's really weird. Don't I just die here? Hmm. Oh my gosh, I had to restart the level because I didn't realize. So the idea is <laughs> you kill- because you're standing on top of a crack block. Just do that. And also there's a move counts when you go back to previous level. Well, first moves forced, switch to knight. Knight is... Well, I see there's a rook and some switchy spikes. We can switch to key if we really wanted to, but there's no option for us afterwards. Uh, I also see a path here that let me switch the bishop. Okay, now what? We can switch to pawn and promote. Well, that wasn't a very great promotion, but it did save the rook. Hmm, this is a very restricted level. I can go here and once again switch the rook and get the... Um, get the key out. This actually feels kind of wrong, because when you turn into the knight, you can't do anything. Like, there's... Like, you don't want to crack that tile. So, I, I really think I messed up earlier on. Okay, so here... I can move this, screw around, I can even grab the bishop. But we would want to get it back. We want to get the knight back, right? Hmm. I don't know if any of this was a good idea. I... Hmm. We could do that and switch back to the knight. Okay, that looks very interesting to me. I don't know if we can get back to, uh... To getting the bishop. Yes, I can. Okay, there we go. Okay. Early coronation. Well, we have the double move. 
When I switch again, it doesn't give me the loop again, again. So I definitely, I really think I need the queen because switching to the king here is a bad idea. We can do that double move and get a queen. Switch and get another queen. Okay, but now, do I need to, like, what am I doing? Getting both in the top? Hmm. No, I think I, I need to, like, set up the, the pawn so that it's there, right? No, no, no. We, we swap the king here so we can get back to being a queen. Then switch the king. There we go. Okay, so first move, we don't want to die here. Nope. Wow, good job at timing that. So that's one of the spikes that, um, <laughs> that toggles. We can switch here, switch here. Okay, now what? Well, we got a bunch of switchy spikes. Switch to a knight here. That's a real spike, not a fake one. Hmm. Why don't I switch it here? Because I'm stuck if I do that. So it needs to be a knight switch after all. But how to do it without dying? And that just didn't do anything useful like, at all. Oh my gosh, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. This is stupid. I didn't realize there was a freaking checker piece until I, like, went back to the tab. <laughs> you, you all are terrible. Freaking puzzle designers. Anyway, so we can switch that if we wanted to. Which puts an empty space in here now that I look at it. Okay, that unlocks that. And now this king also wants to promote. That will kill it. No. Hmm. So what, just waste the move? Okay, it's the king now. But I've switched. Uh, that, no, that's not good. Okay, can we get both, can we get these pieces back? Or am I just screwed with where I put it? Uh... Oh, I can just choose the queen to switch with the king. There we go, okay. Oh, we're playing as... We're playing as black and white. What the hell is this, by the way? What? Okay, this is incredibly cursed. Did you just see that? It just overlaps on top of a piece? And you're just gonna allow that? Sure. This, when, I, when, the, when the dev doesn't fix the bug, but instead it embraces it. <laughs> so then when you swap with one of these, just arbitrary, or it's both of them. And the one that's selected is arbitrary, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's switch to the checkered, and there we can go. Alright, sacrifice this level's name. What am I even playing as right now? As the queen, I think? Yeah, just keep stacking. And no. Okay, let's just start from the beginning. This weird thing happens to control the queen, and then you want to get it to the- Well, first of all, the checker is on this piece, which means we, not, we must rescue it because that needs to turn to the king later. But then, I'm, a rook stacked on top of a checker piece here. We can turn it into a king, but then we can't get back easily, so uh, how about we do that instead? Okay. This is gonna really work. No, no, that's definitely wrong. So then a piece must be, what, sacrificed there as well? What it, for some, I really want to bring this queen over. Like, you see how the, what is the undo? What is that undo animation? Uh, anyway, the queen can go forward into here. I just don't. What? I have control of the king now? I, uh... Why? Wait, I had control of both pieces? <laughs> This is, this is truly nuts. <laughs> it's so cursed. We never had control of multiple pieces until that level. And it was basically because of a glitch the developer decided to ascend into intentionality. Okay, so if I, if I can turn into a king. I wanted the stacking to happen, right? Because hmm. I can do that, but nothing will happen but the glue issue. Come on, where's the stack? Okay, now that's a, a bishop and a, and a, a, a oh my gosh, this is so arbitrary. What? No, I mean, I fucking freaking restarted instead of undoing. But yeah, I just moved the bishop and the queen, and both of them could get onto it, so they overlapped again. Okay, back to here. Now it's a that's a queen and bishop on the same tile overlapping. I think we wanted the rook and... No, no! How do we get two rooks? Uh... 
let's get the queen out of the way. We want to control the rook and the bishop. I mean, rook and the queen. So the rook goes into the finale square, and then the the the, the here, just swap with the king. My gosh. Level name is called Dupe Glitch. <coughs> okay, well, forced first move. We are what? We're we're a king and a bishop right now. I was there any duping here? I just switched with the king here and then Okay, that wasn't the duping I was expecting, but now we have way too many keys. Well, it seems like we have a similar setup to the previous level. What am I playing as? It's... <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Nope. Okay, so that didn't work. Like, I mean, I probably missed some way to actually start duping. Like, now if I swap with the queen, I get more queen. Okay. So can I just do that again? Um, that was weird. No, why did I? Um, we should delete that undo, uh, restart button. Anyway. We can swap that, and do I still have two pieces? Yes, I do. So that's the dupe glitch. There we go. So now we can spend one queen and repeatedly do this process to get more and more queens. There we go. I made a mistake there. Yep, I lost control. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Remember that it's the king on top of the bishop, and that's how we dupe. You shouldn't need to dupe anymore. We get the last one. Eh, never mind. Okay, the final duplication. And swap, let's go. Alright, the end. Yeah, this is great. Like, there's some move counter shenanigans, but amazing follow-up on chess court mission and chess battle advanced. Also, well, fun fact, this game is actually a remake of an older game called Chess Court Mission, which I knew about a long time ago. It's not as visually polished. But it has, like, secrets. It's slightly buggy. But, I mean, the new version didn't change that, I guess. Anyway, I wonder if I should do a video on that, too. Even though it's saying, like, the previous version. Anyway, bye. Chess Battle Advance.